WPGET Web Dev Tutorials for All User Levels. Okay, guys, so here's a, another Facebook uh, element or global community or global element or community, I should say, Facebook group question, uh, which has inspired a, um, uh, this tutorial. So this user is using the standard element or call to action widgets and not able to get them to line up correctly uh, with heights. So we see all the calls to action at different heights, the buttons are at different heights, depending on what the content is. So what I want to look at is why that is and how we can actually uh, resolve that. Now it is a bit of an oversight I think with Elevental because it should be a standard feature, but here's the actual website it refers to. And you can see here we've got uh, you know, these all in different locations. He's tried to line this up um, vertically to make it work. We end up with some spacing at the top here, some spacing at the bottom. Buttons are all over the place. Uh, now, you would think you could actually go to the um, height on this and make them all equal heights, um, but there is no option for that. So let's have a look at um, what we can do to resolve that. So where are we? So I've created a basic uh, template site here. I'll just put a section, I've actually got three columns. Um, I might just duplicate that. Stick that in there. And maybe we'll just add some more of this text here to make this one even longer. So now we've got three different heights of uh, uh, calls to action. Okay, I'm going to actually just put some styling around this to make it stand out a little bit more. So in the border, I'm just going to add some box shadow and copy, uh, paste the uh, styles. So we've just got some box shadow, you can see clearly where these end. So if I update that and then view this page, scroll down to that section, there's my problem. Very, very ugly. So how do we fix this? Well, unfortunately there is no settings in here uh, for the calls to action to set their height to be all equal. So we're gonna have to use some custom CSS. Now, because I want it to apply to all three of these, I'm gonna stick it on the container, which is the section. So I'm gonna go into the section, some custom CSS here. I'm just gonna copy and paste my CSS in there, and then I'll work through how that actually works. So you see now I've put that CSS in there. All of these are the same heights, uh, and our buttons are at the bottom. Refresh this page. Okay, they're all the same height, and the buttons are at the bottom. Now this is a bit tricky. Now I'll show you why it's tricky uh, and then we'll work through the CSS. I'm just gonna grab that CSS, take that out of there again. And show you what we actually have to do. Now everything's really big on the screen. I was advised by someone to do this so that it's more readable for people who have smaller screens. Um, <coughs> so the downside is everything looks huge, but Let's have a look here what the problem is. If I use my inspector and I go to one of these ones that's too short. If I go over this section here, you can see that's the height. Uh, we go into there. We've got the DOM on the right hand side now. So if I use my mouse and I go up the DOM, I can see at this call to action, it's not filling the full space. The widget container is not filling the full space. The, uh, what's this here? The element up here. Uh, the call to action uh, widget wrapper element is not filling the full space, but the next one up is. So that one there is not is filling the space. So what we have to do is tell this one that it's got to be 100%. So we're going to set the height of that to 100%. And we're still, we're still not filling the space, but now that one is. So we go down to the next one, that's still not filling the space. So we set the height on that to 100%. Okay, now that's set the, you can see that now the container around this content has gone to 100%, but the content inside it is still not. So we'll go have a look at the call to action, which is the next one down, and we're gonna make that 100%. And Okay, so now we can see the heights are all correct, but now we've got this is too big, uh, and the button's still not aligned to the bottom. 
So if we look at my CSS, go back to my CSS. Oh, it's going to get used to this here. If I go back to my call to action template and I just put that CSS in there, see they're now all equal height, uh, but they're still not right because our uh, image at the top is too big and the um, uh, content is still not aligned to the bottom. Now, this is where it gets tricky. So uh, just heading back to the CSS, so because I put it on this column, I've used the selector keyword, which means just, sorry, not this column, this section, just this section and any of these selectors below that. So I'm looking for the Elementor widget call to action, uh, the widget container under the call to action, uh, the uh, Elementor CTA, which is under the same path, and set them all to 100%. So that's pretty much what I ran through doing there. Now we're gonna look at all the flex properties. Now this is where it gets really tricky. So if I head back over to here, what I've found is that on the call to action, I've got to set the, uh, whoops, the direction to column. And that then gives me the correct uh, alignment, everything sitting at the top there. But what we have is, where are we? Where's our call to action container? There we go. So if we see if we point our mouse at the call to action container, now I've got everything aligned to the top and the purple is showing that I've got spacing at the bottom. So I've set the container to, to um, column, but now we need to tell the uh, content to grow. So where's the content there? So we've got to tell that content, we've got to tell that to grow um, by uh, flex, by setting our flex grow. So, uh, To one okay so flex grow to one now what's going to happen is that container grows to fill up the uh, empty space so setting this this uh, flex direction of that outer container to column um, and then aligning everything to the top or the start pushes everything to the top but what we're doing is selecting this content container and setting the flex grow to one which means use up all of the empty space for that container that's what flex grow does all right now, we also need to um, now go to the uh, button wrapper. So we need to go to the, that's uh, under the content. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we need to go to the button wrapper, which is down see if we look there now, we've got our, um, on our content, again, it's actually aligned in the center. So what we need to do is set the flex, uh, the content to justify, whoops justify content to the start so flex start or start uh, that didn't work flex start it still didn't work what am i on contents i'm going to set the column sorry flex direction going to set it to column so that the uh, content will start, will uh, align properly. So we go to flex, start, and that's pushed everything to the top. Now, because we've got everything at the top, if we look there now, we go to that um, call, call to action content, see all the spacing at the bottom? So what we need to do now is get the button, so the button container there, the button wrapper, and we want to tell that to grow to fill the space. So we go to that button wrapper, and we have to set the flex grow on that. Oh, sorry, not the flex grow, the um, margin on the top of that. So we're going to set our margin top. To auto. Okay, and what that's done is it see if we roll over our mouse here. Now it's filled up the space at the top with a margin. So that's pretty much the CSS. So that is what fixes it. So if I grab my CSS again, I chuck it all back into here, update that, refresh the page, and everything's lining up. So all the images at the top are correct sizing, uh, and what we end up with is a, a content aligning to the top, 
with the call to action button sitting at the bottom and in nice alignment. So that's pretty much how it works. I will uh, put the code into the tutorial. It's just a very simple one. So I'm just gonna put it into the YouTube video uh, and hopefully that's something that uh, is uh, useful. Thank you.